winnowing is in the question it just says which city gets the Olympics. There's three choices, 29 voters. And are the 29 voters, this is how it's distributed. So basically it's the same, seven of the voters prefer A over B, B over C, and so forth. Using this chart that they gave us, we have to use the method of winnowing to see who is the winner. Winnowing has the option of, basically the winnowing is just carving down from whoever has the less, less votes every round. So with winnowing, it would just be, because there's different options of A, B, and C as a total amount we have. So it would just be A, B, and C. And with each one, we would have round one, round two, round three, similar to um, board account. But with this one, there's only three. So we only have three rounds, but we're not using multiples this time. And we're just doing simple count of everything. So on the for round one, we're just doing round one. So round one, A has two different choices, seven and four. Seven and four added up equals eleven. B has a total of eight. And C has a total of ten from the first round. And then from this, we have to winnow down to B. I mean Whoever has the least amount, so 11 is greater than 10, 10 is greater than 8. So 8 is removed. So B is removed from this. So now we just go down to A versus C. So A has a total of, again, A over B, B over C. And A is not over any of the other two options, so in total, again, it has only 11. And then C has, because B has been eliminated, B cannot be chosen here. So C is over A, so they gain an extra 8 here. And C automatically had 10 before because we've already used 4 and 7 for the 11. C gains the, the popularity vote over B, because B is not eliminated, so 8 plus 10 is 18. And because of annoying, we have to go 18 is over 11, so 11 is left at least. 8 is removed, so C is the winner. So we could we finish this in actually two rounds, not three. So C is 